for our final presentation today uh, from Audible Magic. I'd like to welcome uh, Jay Friedman, who's the VP of Marketing. Jay. Hi there. Hi, Jay. Yeah. Welcome. Good morning, or good afternoon. If we can uh, get the slide up on the uh, screen here. Great. So my name is Jay Friedman. I uh, run marketing for Audible Magic. Uh, I want to talk to you about automated content recognition and our platform in terms of creating more engaged content and interactivity for users. Uh, we have been doing this for a long time. We have over 200 customers that are using our content recognition platform. Uh, and we have 19 granted patents around this technology. Our partners, we, because it's a platform, we work with partners who resell our technology and build it into their solutions. These are the kinds of solutions that those companies are building, creating you know, social connections. So companies like Miso and Yap TV, uh, Connect TV, you know, those type of companies are building socially engaged platforms to run on companion screens. There are also these other kind of companies, uh, the MSOs are trying to be engage in more synchronized experiences and social experiences around the media itself. We're also helping uh, companies drive interactive advertising. So one of our other partners, Accelerated Media, in terms of interacting both on second screen and on the primary screen, as well as providing direct response to advertising. Interesting enough, we can also, for MSOs, be able to replace and insert commercials because we know exactly and can identify exactly where commercials begin and end, as well as measure audiences. So these are the kinds of platforms that uh, automated content recognition can empower. The big thing is focusing on an engaged user and interactivity. And one of the things our partners have found is that if we can create interactive, engaging environments, that consumers are eight times more likely to buy something that they see on TV if they can get an opportunity to purchase that product that they see uh, that they're watching at that time. It's much less opportunity if that offer is offered to them at a later point. The other thing that we see with interactive advertising, specifically on the advertising side, not only do advertisers, if you can get a more engaged consumer in the one-way experience that you have today with TV commercials into a two-way experience that uh, advertisers want, want to have that opportunity because they connect to the user, but as an operator, you can generate, or a CE device manufacturer can generate uh, more dollars for your advertising revenue on an annual basis. So here's, uh, I'm going to show you a demo in a minute, but uh, I have a couple slides to show you sort of the, the overall scheme of things here. So the one approach using content recognition, uh, we use a digital fingerprint. Uh, it requires no embedding, no change to the content, no eBIF, no XML, nothing other than recognizing the content based on a digital profile of that content uh, that's being played. And so you, we can provide a check-in experience of what is the viewer watching? What, do, what can you do if you know what the viewer is watching on TV? The second part of that is if you can then engage that viewer in the media with greater experiences, so for example, a chef on a cooking show, being able to populate a second screen application with the recipe that that chef is following, provide e-commerce experiences to the appliances that the chef is using or the ut uh, utensils that they're cooking with, uh, generates other revenue opportunities. Another arena is this interactive advertising experience. Here's an example of doing this on a second screen where, for example, a commercial playing and on the second screen, it recognizes that commercial that's playing just based on the audio profile of that commercial and starts triggering inform additional information, bonus information. You can offer coupons, geolocation, locate the dealer, uh, those kinds of offers uh, to a consumer. You can even do that on the primary screen in terms of uh, on the upper left you see you're, you're watching a commercial that then uh, t telescopes into a overlay or a, a overlays that a recognition of that commercial that's playing, identify that commercial, give the viewer the opportunity to click and engage in that commercial, and then it can um, populate or trigger an app. It can trigger additional information about that product right on the screen using your remote control. So I'd like to show you a quick demonstration of how the technology works. 
So I have my iPad over here, and right now all it is is listen, it's going to listen to the audio just based on the microphone. If I can. So this is an old uh, show of the Dick Van Dyke show, which now there's no audio, so I need to connect the audio up. Is there audio coming? Okay, the classic demonstration that's not going to work because there's no audio. <laughs> it's coming. Is the audio coming? The audio <laughs> Ah, there you go. <laughs> Just turn up the volume. <laughs> That's the trick. So let me start the application. So it identified that I'm watching the Dick Van Dyke show, and it's the, uh, it's the, uh, the particular show I'm watching. It knew that I was at... Uh, one minute and two seconds into the show, and at that time, Mary Tyler Moore showed up in the scene with her black dress. And you can see, we pointed to a commerce experience of, if you like that black dress, you can go find it on a, a commerce site and go purchase that dress. So it's, it's showing the connection and the ability to tie both the content with other experiences. So, uh, me, from a media standpoint, you can uh, get more engaged users into the content so they watch that television show longer, more loyal to that content, but at the same time start generating revenues in terms of building that connectivity to a commerce experience. Now the challenge here is someone, the content producer, the people who are creating the content, are involved in the content, have to author uh, this information. And so we're working with a couple partners we announced on uh, announced yesterday a partnership with Coincident TV. We're also working with Yap TV, who have uh, CMS systems to author this kind of content, to be able to synchronize events relative to the media that's, that's playing. And so I have a quick video here. There. So this is just a video that shows that content using a drag and drop system, can, they can create a timeline series of events. So that what I showed you um, on the Dick Van Dyke show, they did with our technology and powered the Kvita application, J. Lo's uh, show that she had over the, uh, this past season. They, our technology using their application, we powered a social engagement with the Kvita program and they were able to populate bonus information so within 10 to 30 minutes, they now have secondary information that they've tied to the show. So it, you take the sort of raw technology and build these applications around it to be able to build overall solutions that have value to the user, have value to the operator, and have ways of not just being a cost uh, to deliver, but are generating uh, real dollars and real revenue in terms of advertising and commerce experiences. Thanks very much for that, Jay. I was feeling nostalgic watching uh, Dick Van Dyke there and Mary Tyler Moore. It's, it takes me back a few years. Um, so talk a little bit more about Audible Magic. You shared a little bit at the beginning about different applications, but maybe talk a little about some of the things that have really kind of brought your technology to life, whether here in video or in you know, other places. Well, the, 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 really, the example with uh, Yap TV and Kvita, you know, it, it really created a socially engaged environment. So, it connected viewers and users to other users who are watching the show. It extended their viewing experience. It gave them more and bonus information, and then gave advertisers a, a greater opportunity to engage with viewers. So you turn that one-way television experience into a two-way experience. Okay, great. Uh, any others you want to share? Uh, let's see other examples. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, accelerated media. Okay. Uh, so they've created these interactive ads with uh, Barbie, the Mattel and Barbie, with uh, Ford and the Ford Focus. 
uh, being able to then deliver for the advertiser uh, the ability to under see that the viewer is watching that ad. So now you don't know, is the, have they skipped the commercial or have not skipped the commercial, but you now know that they're actually watching the commercial and are engage then get engaging in more information. And you can now capture that viewer who's actually watching the commercial to be able to then go back after them later for you know, follow up in terms of purchase and other information or providing that information right on the screen. Okay, good, so real revenue opportunities they're, from this. They're That's direct your revenue key, key messaging here. Yeah, absolutely, direct, okay. you know, the, the challenge has been is companies come to us and say, how much is your technology? And we say, well, you could pay X. And they say, well, we don't want to pay that. And, but if you go to them and say, it's, you're going to generate $40 more a year per user um, and it costs you nothing, it makes it an easy story. Gets their attention, yeah, yeah. right. Okay, good. Well, I think that's all we have time for, so okay. thanks very much for coming. Great, thank you good. very much. Thanks, Jay.